Welcome to HGK's Vital Life. I'm your host, Anthony K. And on this week's video, I'm going to be getting in my car and checking out some record stores. Yep, it's time for another record shopping vlog, or at least record browsing vlog. I haven't done one of those since before our last lockdown. Uh, of course, on record store day, we entered stage one of coming out of lockdown uh, here in Ontario, Canada. And last week, uh, we entered what was called stage two, which means that malls were allowed to reopen. So I'm going to be hitting, I think, a Sunrise record store, uh, which I had visited just before the lockdown in a mall by me and see what's new there. And then I'm going to be taking you all to a, a brick and mortar store um, that I've never shown before. And I'm going to have, which I have not gone in since before the pandemic began. I have not been there since last probably January, February 2020. So I'm going to be visiting that store and we're going to take a little peek around in there as well. So we're going to get in the car and head out and I'll see you all soon. So we're arriving at Sunrise Records and we're going to have a little peek today to see what's new at Sunrise. What's new at Sunrise now that they have reopened? As I've shown you guys this uh, record store many times before. So I'm not going to spend too much time here showing you this. Uh, I will show you, if I get anything, I'll show you what I got. I don't have any plans to get anything here today. My daughter's doing a little bit of shopping in here. I'm just waiting on her. At this sunrise, not a whole lot of change. Uh, of course, they did shut down shortly, <laughs> shortly after I filmed that video uh, a, a few months ago. Uh, a couple days later, they had to shut down. So I wouldn't expect too much to be different when they just reopened again after months and months. I wouldn't expect too much to be different today. And as I suspected, there wasn't a whole lot. Just some uh, past record store day titles. So after digging through the bins at the front, I really didn't see anything new or interesting that I haven't seen before here. Now, like I said, uh, if you would check my video from a couple of months ago, I kind of showed what was available in this store. I'm gonna have a quick look through their previously loved records and see if there's anything. Normally this is an absolute disaster, but we'll have a quick peek and see if there's anything worth buying here. And there's there's been the odd gem 99% of the time it's just it's just junk but they do get the odd gem so I'll have a peek but I'm not it's not looking it's not looking too hopeful <laughs> um, but nothing really new in the way of new releases obviously because they just reopened I don't think there's been anything really has been done in the store uh, while they were closed uh, it's all looking about the same as it was just before we went into lockdown. But we'll have a quick peek through here and see if there's one thing worth getting. If not, we'll be heading off to our next stop and our final stop in today's uh, two stores I wanted to visit today. And this is looking, this is looking like it's gonna be a bust. So we will be heading out Not much to see here. And yeah, we're oh, that's actually a decent ammo. If it's in if it's in good shape, I'll actually grab that. We'll just pull that aside. Scandal, I need a copy of The Warrior. It's a, cl it's a classic. I'm going to check this Scandal. If it's in any sort of condi good condition, it might be worth the uh, $2.99. So we'll check it out and I'll let you know. Well, I think this one's a winner. You know, the cover's, the cover's not too bad. A little bit of ring wear, a little bit of scuffing, but no seam splits or anything. Vinyl looks in excellent shape. And for a grand total of $2.99, I think it's worth buying. So we did get something today from Sunrise Records in Aaron Mills Mall in uh, Mississauga, Ontario. So that was Sunrise Records, Aaron Mills Town Center. I did, I did pick up one thing for a big $3, and that was Scandal, The Warrior. You know, for three bucks, even if it's, you know, the one song, it's worth it. But I did have this album a long time ago, and it's a pretty decent spin. So you can't go wrong for $2.99. So we'll be getting in the car and heading off now down to Port Credit. 
to visit another record store I haven't been in in over a year, probably like a year and a half, and we'll see what's there. So I have arrived here at PCV Records in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, I had originally planned on this video to go to a place called the Arch Top Cafe. Uh, and that might have to save that for a future video because at last minute we changed our minds and we decided to uh, come to this one out in Oakville, which I haven't been to since before the pandemic began. Main reason being because I have my daughter with me today and she wants to look for some more newer modern music. And I know that a PVC uh, stocks all genres, all decades of music, both new and used, very good record store. Um, and it's in Oakville, Ontario, uh, home of such famous Canadian bands as Saga. So we're gonna go in there. I don't know if I can film in there. So if I can't, I'll show you if I got anything in there, what we got, if I got, if we get anything in there, I'll show you when I come out. So off to PCV Records in Oakville, Ontario. So the owner has kindly consented to let me film in here. So I'm gonna show you guys this fantastic store. This is PCV Records in Oakville. And as you can see, this is quite, quite the place. I'm just going to walk around and show you what he's got. A fabulous, fabulous record store. I don't get out here often because it's a little f farther of a drive for me. But it is a truly fantastic record store. New and used records. Posters. Singles. CDs. Everything you could want. A fantastic store. Just giving you guys a scan of the CD section here. This is all the CDs. And as you can see, he's he's put up uh, barricades here, uh, you know, plexiglass walls. Uh, so we're, it's a very COVID safe and friendly store. This is all the CDs, an incredible, incredible selection. Music CD, DVDs, back here. We got some more things. This is the back counter. Here are the box sets up here on the wall. We've got box sets, limited edition items. We've got past record store day. Yes, that's right. This is the record store day. An incredible selection. I'm gonna do some shopping in here myself in a few minutes, but I'm gonna give you guys all a good luck at all the wonderful product PCV Records has. A really, really spectacular selection of records. Really, really well. Everything's well organized. Every artist has got a label and a section. It really is a stunning record store. I, I don't get out here as much as I should. Uh, probably be safer if I don't come out here because I would probably spend a fortune. <laughs> they all have so much stuff here. It's incredible. And the last time I was in here, it was, it was organized much differently. He's changed a lot of stuff around. But I hope you guys can all have a good, appreciate uh, the look I'm giving you of this incredible record store. Really, really is first class first class I can see a couple things already that I <laughs> might just be buying oh my goodness look at this place spectacular there's every time I come here I find records here that I've never find anywhere else not on not online uh, not in other record stores there is always something here to satisfy a record collector Buttons, buttons for all you button lovers. Buttons, buttons galore. Then all the sections here, as you can see, they have got everything. This is pop, rock, and alternative. Everything is labeled. Every, every artist has his own section, his or her section. Truly, truly spectacular. Truly, truly spectacular. Really first class record store. Here we got com classics, soul and funk, comedy, blues, country, 
electronic, punk, metal, more pop rock and alt. You can't go wrong. I'm gonna give you a last little scan and then I'm gonna do some crate digging and I'll show you guys after what I got in my crate digging. In this spectacular record store. My daughter's poking around, she's doing some shopping. She's hoping to find something good. I know she's been dying to get a few things and I, I wish her luck. I hope she uh, scores something today to make her sum, summer a little bit better. Soundtracks, hip hop, R&B, t-shirts, if you like t-shirts. They got all sorts of cool t-shirts. All sorts of cool t-shirts. So I'm gonna do a little digging now myself and I'll be back. So that was my visit to PCV Records here in Oakville, Ontario. A fantastic uh, trip shopping there today. Found quite a few things uh, that I wanted. Yep. So what did we get today? Well, I did manage to find a really nice minty copy of Steve Miller Band's Abracadabra. Uh, one that was missing from my Steve Miller catalog. It's still got the original crayon 698 and it's in the shrink wrap. In the shrink wrap, Steve Miller, Abracadabra. Now this was a great find and only 10 bucks Canadian. Ted Nugent's Amboy's Dukes, Tooth and Fang, and it's a promotional copy. So that's very cool, in really good shape. Ted Nugent and Boy Dukes. Uh, the next thing I found, one that I've been looking for that I've not seen in Canada anywhere, in any store. I had it sitting in my Amazon shopping cart for a long time because it was going to ship from uh, the UK, but found it here. Bangles, gold, the, their greatest hits, a really nice comp on 140 vi vinyl, of course, including Manic Monday, Walk Like an Egyptian, Eternal Fl Flame, Hazy Shade of Winter, all the greats, Bangles Gold, brand new sealed. Fantastic to finally find that. And last but not least, uh, the one from my daddy's home, the new St. Vincent album. But this particular version I've never seen anywhere else. This is the indie store exclusive version with an alternate album cover and black smoke vinyl. So that's really cool. This is one that I've been sort of thinking about buying for a while now, but seeing this uh, alternate version was the uh, kicker that, that made me say, okay, I'll get it. And the last one I'm gonna show you here is something my daughter got, and this is Metric, uh, Pagans in Vegas from what year? 2018. 2018, she says, 2018. What's uh, what's the, the deal with Metric? It's a good band. There you go. It's a good band. Uh, what are they? Alternative, I guess you could say. Huh? Yeah. Kind of alternative, modern rock, uh, metric, Pagans in Vegas. And uh, maybe one day soon we'll do a video with my daughter and she can talk about all these wonderful new bands that she's listening to and all this alternative music. I'm trying to talk her into doing it. We'll see. So that's it. That's all. That's my uh, vlog, 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 however you say it, for this week. Uh, we went to Sunrise Records. Uh, briefly, and then ended up at PCV Records here in, in Oakville. I will save the other record store in Port Credit for another video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as I always say, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up always make people feel good. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, new subscribers are always welcome. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. And last but not least, uh, follow me on Instagram at AGK underscore Lifetime of Vinyl, where I try to post my spin of the day every day. That's it. That's all. I'll see you guys all real soon in another video. And as I always say, rock and roll!